Hello everybody and a very warm welcome or shall I say the warmest welcome today because today is the last day of this online course on tunneling with tunnel boring machines and although this is the last time we are meeting as far as this course is concerned but as I always tell my participants let it be the starting point of a lifelong relationship. We'll stay in touch because I want to really feel happy because I know that all of you will rise in your life. And I really want to see that happening. So I want to keep in touch because I'm absolutely sure about that. Because the very fact that you have decided you have shown interest in a course like this, this is in this day and age when there's so many things vying for your attention and uh, people being so much busy in their personal professional lives to commit yourself to attend a course for so many days. It itself speaks of the fact that you people are really interested in investing time in yourself. You want to learn new skills and you want to rise in life in the, in the right way. Okay, the other ways of rising in life. Okay, but I'm not talking of those. So, so I really want to track that if you can say, and I want to be in touch with that. Okay, so it is a starting point, not only of our lifelong relationship, but also the fact that the knowledge that I have been able to transfer, if at all, would form the starting point for all of you to start building further knowledge on this. So it's a starting point. So now the sky is the limit, literally sky is the limit as far as knowledge is concerned. And I personally believe, and having put in almost four decades in the industry, if I say something, which means it is time tested. Others may not believe in that because some of the others have taken different paths, but there are people like me who have taken the path which we feel is right, which we is correct, which we which we feel is the honest path. And uh, uh, having taken that path for close to four decades, I can say for sure, knowledge is the key to success. If you, like many other people, if you think money is an indicator of success, well, I don't find fault with you. Money is very powerful. We all know that. Money is not the highest, not at the highest level as an indicator of success, right? Money is something, if that is your indicator of success, you will get that success through knowledge. If you have the knowledge, you are at the highest pedestal. And money has this weakness. Do you know what weakness money has? Money has this weakness of following successful people. Did you ever think about it? And success comes from knowledge. And money goes to successful people. Right? That's the weakness of money. So. <laughs> Even if you want to earn a lot of money, uh, knowledge is the key for that, right? So run after knowledge, run after excellence. Don't run after money. Let money run after you. Money will run after you. So all the best to all of you. And let's uh, start this uh, proceedings of the last day. And there are two presentations uh, lined up for today. Now, now I, another message I want to give you is that... Uh, See, these subjects are very vast. Not only are they very vast, the vastness also depends on the interest of individual participants, right? Because some participants, based on their interest and their current uh, uh, involvement in projects, may be interested in some topics which may not, be, may not have been covered in this because it's practically impossible to cover everything from two points of view. One, the time. Second, is the limitation, the human limitation. I'm a human. I have my limitations, civil limitations. So I cannot uh, speak about every topic. Perhaps I can speak, but I need preparation, a lot of preparation. So my message to you is that if ever in life, <laughs> which means next few days, next few months, uh, you feel that uh, you need to know more about a particular topic, and you, for whatever reason, you want me to speak about this topic, please send me that topic. So I'll collect these topics and then invite all of you for one session or two sessions. And then we can have it. what is there in it for me. You must be wondering knowledge. If I develop a new topic to speak on, that will add to my knowledge. And knowledge is the key to success. Remember? So I am after knowledge, right? Okay. So enough, enough of uh, preaching. And time to get going. So two presentations that are coming up today. The first one is to do with how do you select a TBM? Although in the earlier presentations, 
when we try to learn about different kinds of tbms different types of tbms those presentations themselves are good enough for us to give enough knowledge to be able to select the tbms based on the ground conditions and some other things like size of the tunnel like other things that we've discussed so many things but that's not the end of it actually that is the starting point i am talking of too many starting points today that's how the life is the more you dive deeper into this ocean of knowledge the more you realize that there's so much to learn you see people who do not dive in this ocean who sit by the side of the sea of knowledge they think they know enough but once you dive you see oh there's a whole ocean of knowledge i don't know anything that is why it is said that people who are knowledgeable they are humble you know why they are humble because when they gain knowledge they come to know that there's much more that they don't know that makes them humble okay uh, yesterday i talked about a saying from the ancient indian language sanskrit i'll give you another saying from this uh, sanskrit language which says vidya dadati vinayam vidya dadati vinayam which means vidya is knowledge or education knowledge gives you humbleness knowledge gives you humbleness so another benefit of gaining knowledge is that you become humble humbleness brings many many aspects to you one is once you are humble which means you are always looking for more knowledge you never have this sense of complacency i know enough okay that's one. another thing is you are pleasing to others people would like to spend time with you would like to share knowledge with you would like to go along with you would like to recommend you for awards for higher positions because you are humble and humble person is always nice to people okay so many advantages of 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 gaining knowledge right okay so uh, it is the starting point knowing about different types of tbms so how do we go forward from there let's see some glimpses of what is done and how one can uh, sort of reach closer to the decision of selecting a kind of tbm what goes into all of this so let's uh, start that presentation for which i have to uh, select the screen and the presentation is maybe slightly different the name may be slightly different uh, from the impression that you may have, may have created by the discussion so far it's a, actually the same thing what type of tbm and here i'm not talking of those types that you learn so what features of tbms are applicable to certain situations certain ground condition that will give you a deeper insight into what all goes into selection or what all should go into selection of a tbm